The region surrounding the Mekong River is one of the most biodiverse regions in the world. It contains more freshwater biomass than the entire continent of Africa. It's also one of the most polluted rivers in the world, transporting an estimated 40,000 tonnes of plastic waste to the ocean each year. By 2050, the regional population will increase by more than 110 million people, only increasing the amount of plastic pollution. But near the mouth of the Mekong lies the Coral Triangle, one of the world's most important marine habitats. Mekong River of Plastic will be the first scientific study of microplastic transport through a mega river. Our team is undertaking one of the most comprehensive studies of the way in which plastic is used by communities that live along the riverbanks, is disposed of by those people that, that live uh, along the river, how plastic leaks essentially into the environment, and understanding the ultimate fate of this material as it fluxes through this great river system. The team will be addressing questions such as how is microplastic transported? What controls the way in which plastic is transformed from big macro particles to micro, microplastics as, as the plastic is degraded in the environment? How the interaction of plastics with that, with that uh, biology ultimately controls the fate of where this plastic ends up. Over the course of the project, the team will be sampling, and they'll be uh, interviewing the local communities, they'll be trying to understand the relationship between the people, the plastic, and the natural environment. The results and outcomes of the study will be used to not only inform policy and drive some change in terms of developing a circular economy for plastics in, in this region of the world, but also to educate and raise awareness of the populations that live there so that they can take ownership of this issue and begin to, to deal with the problems that some of this plastic pollution is already having on both their lives and their livelihoods.